For any triangle ABC, the relationship between the sum of A squared and B squared and C squared changes depending on whether the triangle is right, obtuse, or acute. I'll consider the case we've discussed recently. A right triangle where A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But now if lengths A and B stay the same, but the measure of angle C increases and is now greater than 90 degrees, then C squared is greater than the sum of A squared and B squared. Now if A and B stay the same, but the measure of angle C decreases to become less than 90 degrees, then C squared is less than the sum of A squared and B squared. The theorems below allow you to determine whether a triangle is acute or obtuse. These theorems relate to the hinge theorem, which states that the longer side is opposite the larger angle, and the shorter side is opposite the smaller angle. Theorem 8.3 states, if the square of the length of the longest side of a triangle is greater than the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides, then the triangle is obtuse. So if, in this diagram, C squared is greater than A squared plus B squared, then triangle ABC is obtuse. Theorem 8.4 states, if the square of the length of the longest side of a triangle is less than the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides, then the triangle is acute. So if, in this diagram, C squared is less than A squared plus B squared, then triangle ABC is acute. Problem five, classifying a triangle. A triangle has side lengths six, 11, and 14. Is it acute, obtuse, or right? Well, we'll compare C squared to the sum A squared plus B squared. We'll substitute the greatest value for C, and we'll test 14 squared is less than, is equal to, is greater than 6 squared plus 11 squared. Well, as we simplify, we find that 196 is greater than 157. So, since C squared is greater than A squared plus B squared, the triangle is obtuse. Your turn. Is a triangle with side lengths 7, 8, and 9 acute, obtuse, or right?